Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Never List. And this is a new coming-of-age drama about a young woman whose best friend passes away, and she has a list of things that she thought she'd never do, and she decides to do them to make her deceased friend proud. And this is directed by Michelle Mower, written by Ariane Schaefer, and starring Fivel Stewart, who plays Ava, who is our main character. And you have Ava, she's a very, like, she tries really hard in school, she does all the right things, and her and her friend Liz were always like the good girls. And unfortunately, something bad happens, and Ava's left alone, and starts to try to branch out and be this different kind of person. She winds up connecting with this young man, played by Andrew Kai, this young man Joey, who has a bit of a past, was in Juvie, and now she's going out to rock concerts and sneaking into rock concerts and getting up on stage. She's pinching random guys' butts while they're running in the park. She is doing all kinds of other pranks and starts selling pop brownies and all kinds of different things that, you know, it's outside the box of what she was up to this point, which was a very, by the books, good girl who did everything she was supposed to. And now she wants to branch out. And that causes a lot of stress for her mother, played by Keiko Agena, and her father, played by Matt Corboy. Mostly her mother, though. There's a lot of tension there because her mother's really pressuring her to do all the right things and be perfect. And all Eva wants to do is save up some money so she could do this graphic novel class because she loves to draw. And she wants to become the class president and be involved in that. And you know she's involved at school. And was it Aaron Samuels? Jonathan Bennett from... Mean Girls, you know, Aaron Samuel is one of her teachers, which is the weirdest thing. It's just like, it's not October 3rd. And you have this whole situation where she's doing all these different kinds of things, going outside the box. The film, story-wise, isn't exactly the most ambitious. It's something that you've seen before. And there's definitely some moments where it's like, it gets really unlikable and goes too far and sometimes it's hard for me to be able to get back and support her because she's gone so far and after a while you know she goes so far and on, in many ways it's kind of like Mean Girls where it's like she's a good girl and she gets caught up in things and keeps going further and further and further until she causes a lot of damage to her rival for the class presidency and she has to start confronting things and like there's some things she does that she could get thrown out of school for. Like, she goes to some places. And she's very rebellious. The film, though, from Mower has a nice pace to it. There are some issues, like some of the sound mixing is really off. Some of the characters are, like, obnoxiously loud compared to the rest of the audio, which was a strange thing to be watching. It's like... And there's definitely some moments where it's just like you can tell like this is like a smaller film and some of those sound things and some of the filming aspects of cinematography. It you know you can tell this is a smaller film and it's not perfect in the way that it's put together technically, and the story might be a little worn. You've definitely seen it before on um, plenty of other films, but I think in the end the never list gives enough here with enough interesting and fun characters and they overcome some of their dialogue being very expositional or very just blunt in the way that they present certain ideas but I think with the strong performances from across this cast with the fun and interesting characters and enough of a good message to show here and enough emotion because there's definitely some sad moments and some uplifting and hopeful moments. And I think The Never List is a fine little film that if you're a fan of the genre, I think you'll get a lot out of. If you're not a fan of the genre, it just might have enough for you to get some enjoyment out of it. But those are my thoughts on The Never List. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.